I'm going to be showing you some examples of queries that you can use in order to query your spreadsheet data and then returning back results so you can check to see if a numeric value is larger than particular value. So what you do is you select the content that you want to return. You can select various columns by their name. So they're A, B, C, D, E, where we have data right now. So you can select those columns and return back the corresponding data. You can check to see for a particular string value. You can check if a particular column contains a value. You can also use dates. And then you can use AND in order to have multiple conditions on the query when you're making the selection of the query. And as long as you're encoding the URI component of the query, it will work. You can also set different sheet names and adjust these parameters as needed in order to query and retrieve back data from your spreadsheet into your web application. Let's do a query to our Google Sheet. So we do have our query up here at the top. Uh, let's update that and this will be the query that we're going to change. Uh, so right now it's just going to be the string value and then we'll update it. We're still going to pass it into the encode URI. So we're actually going to be selecting A, B and C. And when we select A, B and C, that's only going to return back the results for A, B and C. And we notice that something happened with our output. It's not exactly right because we're expecting four rows and we're actually only outputting the three. So we need to update our styling there. So let's uh, update this and we're going to set this uh, template columns to one FR. Then comma separate it. Values we have for the key. So let's uh, actually move this in. And I'll use the back ticks instead of the single quotes. And we'll up this, this to be more dynamic where it's going to get the keys length. So now when we update the query, our request will update as well. So if we only want to return back A and C, we can do that as well where we could query just A and C. We can also become more specific. So we could select A and D. So it's taking the column values A, B, C, D. And these are the ones that we're returning. So just as we do with a SQL query, we can also check to see if the value of D is greater than 50. And let's uh, see what gets returned there. So we're able to query only the results that are greater than 50. So it automatically interprets this as a number and then returns back the corresponding values. We can also update it to return back only where it's greater than 150. So there's a number of different types of queries that we can make. Uh, so make some updates to this. Uh, we can also update the sheet. So if we had more than one sheet, let's just duplicate that and I'll just call it vowels. And then here we'll just separate it. So if we ever want to change the sheet name, as long as there's still a value greater than uh, a numeric value for D, we could then return back and query those values as well. So we can switch sheets really easily if the need is there and customize the query as needed. So we're turning back only the columns uh, that we want to use and then also specifying what the results are that we want to query back. We can also look for a specific value if we want. So let's uh, take the value for the last name and we'll switch this back to users and looking to see where the value of B and we'll update this on a separate line so we can track the various values. So let's select back everything where the value of B is going to be equal to a particular string value. So let's see what we get back there. So that can be specific to a string value. We can also look for where column A, we can use keywords like contains and then what we want it to contain. So let's uh, look for it to contain JO. So it's going to return back the matching results that contain those values. You can also set more columns if you want. So just uh, call this one date and I'll update this one. So we've got some values there that have a date. Let's see if we can still return back all of the values. So we do have the date being returned back for the date. And we'll look at E where the date is less than. So that will once again only return back the date values that are going to be less than that specified date. You can also do greater than. And once again, return back the corresponding values. So it makes working with the dates really easy. 
You can get very complex queries if you want, where C is equal to active. So that will return back only the values where C is active and B is equal, equal to specus. So if we had more than one and we go back and we refresh it, it's going to again return back all of the matching results. So there's quite a bit of flexibility with the queries and you're welcome to try out the various queries and search through your own data within your Google spreadsheets. And these were just some of the examples of the ones that you can use.